Whether you are a seasoned veteran of the Pokemon franchise, or have just stepped foot into the community, you have more than likely heard of the hot new mobile game released by entertainment mogul Nintendo. Pokemon Go. Millions of trainers across the globe are currently exploring their local areas in great hopes of capturing the most elite pocket monsters, challenging their friends to battles, and becoming the very best like no one ever was. Though the game has only been made available in the past few weeks, some players have collected tales from their Pokemon adventures that take a much more sinister tone. Tonight, we look at three haunting stories that might make you think twice the next time you open up the app. To those unfamiliar with Pokemon Go, the game urges players to leave their homes and make an adventure out of exploring their local areas, mobile device in hand, to capture and build their collection of pocket monsters. Though most players would only expect to find new additions to their team rosters, Pokemon trainers such as 19-year-old Shayla Wiggins found something that is far more unexpected than just a rare catch. On the morning of July 8, 2016, Wiggins decided to start her day with a walk on the trails of Big Wind River while taking occasional breaks to move off the path to capture Pokemon. Midway through her walk, Wiggins encroached towards the riverside after something caught her eye. However, to her horror, a closer inspection revealed the mere item was actually a corpse floating with the current of the river. Riverton police were immediately called to the area and were successfully able to retrieve the body from the rapids. From the nearby highway, Wiggins watched the scenario unfold before her and was interviewed later, quoted saying, I was crying and shaking really bad because it was a very scary situation. Shockingly, this is not the first documentation of bodies being found by Pokemon Go players traveling to unexplored areas to find Pokemon. An unnamed player discovered the body of 36-year-old Timothy Nichols in a brook behind the New Hampshire Holocaust Memorial on July 14th. And another was found on July 16th by three friends hiking in Marion Bear Memorial Park, San Diego. Fortunately, Police reports of all three incidents indicate that no foul play or malicious harm was involved in the deaths of these individuals and have been ruled out as either accidental or natural. Though most of the multiplayer features of the main series Pokemon games are yet to be introduced into the app, Pokemon Go is not just a single-player romp through the city. Players are able to interact with each other by setting up beacons in their local areas. Beacons are an in-game feature that can attract players to a single location to team up and capture Pokemon with, or find competition. Most players set up beacons for fun and to collaborate with fellow trainers though it seems that even the most innocent of life's pleasures can be twisted into malicious methods of harm. In the late night of July 11th, Flannel, Missouri police responded to several reports of robbery in the area. They were eventually led to a parking lot where a single black SUV sat. Sergeant Bill Stringer reports that as he approached the vehicle, a firearm 
was in the process of being discarded. The four occupants of the vehicle, aged between 16 and 18, were identified as suspects from previous robberies in the St. Charles and St. Louis areas and were arrested on scene. Supposedly, the four used the beacon feature to attract and lure individual players into secluded areas before jumping them and robbing them at gunpoint. Thankfully, none of the victims were harmed in the process of handing over the demanded belongings and were able to escape safely. The three adults involved in the crime were charged with multiple counts of first-degree robbery and remain in prison on a $100,000 bond. While on a Pokemon journey, players may eventually come across Pokestops to gain experience and acquire items or have the chance to challenge a gym to prove their superiority in Pokemon battles. Typically, these features can be found by going to local landmarks or historical locations that are known in your area. A spot that has become quite popular to visit for the Pokemon community is the New Windsor Hotel, known to the Arizona populace as a historical landmark for cultured dwellers and as a boasting attraction for tourists. However, according to Arizona's DPS Sex Offender Registry, the street the hotel resides upon offers residents to 43 registered sex criminals. Every day, Hundreds of players, both young and old, visit the area, completely oblivious to the fact that they are being led to a spot where potential harm could befall them at any moment. As of today, no incident reports have come from the area, but the American government wishes to not take any chances when it comes to the safety of their youth. A hearing hosted by New York Governor Andrew Cuomo revealed that laws will be passed in the New York region to ban any individual with current or past sexual offenses from accessing or downloading the app, claiming that any internet source that can in effect lure people will be added to a list of banned services for the 3,000 registered sex criminals known to the area. As more preventative efforts are made by law enforcement and U.S. delegates, the American government continues to urge Nintendo to search through the Department of Criminal Justice website to obtain sex offender addresses and remove all in-game attractions within a hundred feet of their residences. I want to thank you for getting to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Realities of Horror. If you did, please leave a like and leave a comment with any ideas you would like to see covered in a future episode. Who knows, your idea may just be the very next episode. On a more personal note, and as a fellow Pokemon Go player, I do ask you all to be aware of your surroundings when you play. Do stick to routes that you are familiar with and don't go anywhere you don't have any business in. Always remember that even though you may be in an area that you call home, you must always be aware of what could be around the corner, especially if you are alone. I would never want to read an article about an incident that happened to you. Have fun on your Pokemon journey, and I hope that our paths may cross in the future. But until then, Please, do stay safe.